Bonjour Montreal, the city of festivals, the heart of Quebec, and a place where history and modernity dance together in perfect harmony. Montreal had been calling my name for years, the allure of its cobblestone streets, the whispers of its European charm, and the promise of an unforgettable adventure were too enticing to resist. The whispers of its European charm, its delicious food scene, and its vibrant culture finally lured me in. From poutine to smoked meat sandwiches, the culinary delights were endless and mouth-watering. I booked a quick trip, just 48 hours in this Canadian gem, two days to soak in as much as I could to experience the essence of Montreal. Was it enough time? Maybe not. But every second was packed with excitement and discovery. Was it amazing anyway? Absolutely. The energy of the city was infectious and the people were warm and welcoming. Let me tell you, from the moment I stepped off the plane, I was smitten. The air was filled with a sense of possibility and adventure. There's a certain je ne sais quoi about Montreal. The blend of old world charm and contemporary flair creates a unique atmosphere that is both captivating and comforting, a mix of old world elegance and modern cool. The city is a canvas where history and innovation coexist beautifully. I was ready for adventure, and Montreal was more than ready to deliver. From zip lining in nature parks to exploring art installations, every moment was a new experience. The markets were alive with colors and scents, offering everything from fresh produce to handmade crafts. It was a feast for the senses. And then there were the cafes, each one a little haven where you could sit back, enjoy a coffee, and watch the world go by. The perfect spots to take a breather and soak in the local vibe. Music filled the air, with street musicians adding a melodic backdrop to the city's hustle and bustle. It was like living in a movie, with a soundtrack that made every moment special. As night fell, the city transformed. The lights reflecting on the St. Lawrence River created a magical ambiance. It was a sight to behold, a perfect end to a day of exploration. Sharing a meal with new friends at a rooftop restaurant overlooking the city was the cherry on top. The laughter, the stories, the connection, it was all part of the Montreal experience. As the sun rose on my final day, I felt a mix of sadness and gratitude. Sadness that my time was coming to an end, but gratitude for the memories I had made. Leaving Montreal was bittersweet, but I knew this wasn't goodbye. It was just au revoir until we meet again. Visit Café de l'Horloge at 1681 Rue Notre Dame, Montreal. First impressions in Old Montreal. My first stop? Old Montreal, of course. Cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, stunning architecture. It felt like I'd stepped back in time. I wandered through the Place Jacques Cartier, admiring the street performers and the beautiful Notre Dame Basilica. The architecture was incredible. Every building had a story to tell. I could have spent hours just soaking it all in, but my stomach had other plans. It was time for a little taste of Montreal. Don't miss Café Olympico at 124 Rue saint viateur au Montreal. Coffee break at Crew Collective and Café. Coffee first, sightseeing second. That's my motto anyway. There's something magical about starting your day with a perfect cup of coffee, especially in a place as enchanting as this. The moment you step inside, you're greeted by an ambiance that feels both grand and cozy. It's a unique blend that makes you want to linger a little longer. I'd heard whispers about a special place called Crew Collective and Cafe. Nestled in the heart of Montreal, this cafe is more than just a spot to grab a quick coffee. It's a destination in itself, a place where history and modernity collide in the most beautiful way. The exterior alone is enough to draw you in, with its stylish entrance that promises something extraordinary inside. Housed in a former bank, this place was stunning. The architecture is a testament to a bygone era, with every corner telling a story. The grand columns, the intricate moldings, and the sheer scale of the space make you feel like you've stepped back in time. Yet, 
There's a modern twist that keeps it feeling fresh and inviting. Soaring ceilings, ornate details, and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. It was a feast for the senses. The high ceilings give the space an airy, open feel, while the ornate decor adds a touch of elegance. Everywhere you look, there's something to admire, from the detailed carvings to the beautiful light fixtures. And then there's the coffee-rich, aromatic, and absolutely delicious. I sipped my latte, perfectly made by the way, and soaked in the atmosphere. The latte art was a work of art in itself, almost too beautiful to drink. But drink it I did, and it was every bit as good as it looked. As I sat there, I couldn't help but feel a sense of contentment. This was more than just a coffee break. It was a moment of pure bliss. This was the perfect spot to recharge after my journey and plan out the rest of my Montreal adventure. With a map spread out before me and a notebook in hand, I started to jot down all the places I wanted to visit. The cafe's ambiance was inspiring, making it easy to dream and plan. Whether you're a local or a traveler, Crew Collective and Cafe offers a sanctuary where you can relax, reflect, and rejuvenate. It's a place where time seems to slow down, allowing you to savor every moment. So if you ever find yourself in Montreal, make sure to stop by. Trust me, it's an experience you won't want to miss. If you enjoyed this glimpse into Montreal's coffee culture, please subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. We have plenty of adventures and tips to share and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Thanks for watching! No trip to Montreal is complete without a visit to Mount Royal. I hopped on the 11 bus and enjoyed the scenic ride up the mountain. The views from the top? Breathtaking! I could see the entire city sprawling out before me, the St. Lawrence River glistening in the distance. There were people picnicking, playing music, and just enjoying the sunshine. It was the perfect place to relax, take in the scenery, and snap some photos. After the climb, I headed to Café saint at 3,990 Rue Saint-Urbain for a delightful coffee break. Montreal is a foodie's paradise and I was ready to indulge. First up poutine. I know, I know, it sounds a little strange. But trust me, this Canadian classic is a must try. Crispy fries, squeaky cheese curds, and rich gravy. It's pure comfort food. I also couldn't resist trying Montreal-style smoked meat. It was piled high on rye bread with mustard, and it was absolutely delicious. My taste buds were doing a happy dance. And for a perfect coffee break, I highly recommend Café Myriad at 1432 Rue McKay. As the sun began to set, I headed to the Quartier des Spectacles, Montreal's entertainment district. This place comes alive at night with street performers, live music, and a buzzing energy. I wandered through the crowds, enjoying the festive atmosphere. I stumbled upon a free outdoor concert and danced the night away. Montreal sure knows how to have a good time. Stop by Café Parvis at 433 Rue Mayer, Montreal. After a good night's sleep, I woke up ready for another day of exploration. Brunch was calling and Montreal is known for its incredible brunch spots. I opted for Café Melbourne at 4615 Boulevard Saint Laurent, Montreal, with fluffy pancakes and strong coffee. Fueled up and ready to go, I headed to the Montreal Botanical Garden. This place was a green oasis in the heart of the city. I strolled through themed gardens, admired the colorful blooms, and even caught a glimpse of some turtles basking in the sun. Next on my list was Montreal's underground city. This underground network of shops, restaurants, and even residential buildings is a world unto itself. I spent some time getting delightfully lost in its maze of corridors. I also made sure to check out the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, which houses an impressive collection of art from around the world. And of course, no trip to Montreal is complete without a stop at Café Humble Lion at 904 Rue Sherbrooke O for a perfect cup of coffee 
and another taste of that delicious smoked meat at Schwartz's Deli. As my 48 hours in Montreal drew to a close, I couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness. This city had captured my heart with its charm, its beauty, and its zest for life. I decided to enjoy a final coffee at Café saint Henri. There was still so much to see and do, but for now, it was time to say au revoir. Montreal is a city that stays with you long after you leave. It's the echo of laughter in the streets, the aroma of freshly baked croissants, the feeling of cobblestones beneath your feet. It's a city that embraces life to the fullest, and it's impossible not to get swept up in its energy. If you're looking for a city with European flair, North American convenience, and a spirit all its own, Montreal is calling your name. Don't forget Café Pista at 500 Rue Bobian A, Montreal. Ready to plan your own Montreal adventure? Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, Montreal has something for everyone. From its rich history and vibrant culture to its stunning architecture and delicious cuisine, this city is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. Here are a few tips to help you make the most of your trip. First, consider the timing of your visit. Spring and fall offer pleasant weather and fewer crowds, making it an ideal time for sightseeing and outdoor activities. The city's parks and gardens are in full bloom during these seasons, providing a picturesque backdrop for your adventures. Summer, on the other hand, is festival season in Montreal. The city comes alive with events like the Montreal International Jazz Festival, Just for Laughs, and the Montreal World Film Festival, Expect a lively atmosphere with plenty of entertainment options, but also be prepared for larger crowds and higher accommodation prices. Montreal is a very walkable city, with many attractions located within close proximity to each other. Exploring on foot allows you to soak in the city's unique charm and discover hidden gems along the way. However, if you need to get around quickly, the metro is a fantastic option. The Montreal metro system is efficient, clean, and easy to navigate, making it a convenient way to travel between neighborhoods. While French is the official language of Montreal, you'll find that many people, especially in tourist areas, speak English. Don't be afraid to try out a few French phrases, though. The locals will appreciate the effort and it can enhance your experience. Montreal is known for its culinary delights, so be sure to indulge in some local favorites. Poutine, a dish of fries topped with cheese curds and gravy, is a must-try. Montreal smoked meat sandwiches, bagels, and croissants are also iconic treats that you won't want to miss. The city's nightlife is another highlight, with a wide range of bars, clubs, and live music venues to choose from. Whether you're looking to dance the night away or enjoy a quiet drink with a view, Montreal has something to offer. And don't forget to take in the stunning views of the city from one of its many lookout points, such as Mount Royal or the Old Port. Finally, make sure to take advantage of the various tours and activities available. From river cruises and bike tours to museum visits and family-friendly attractions, there's no shortage of things to do in Montreal. Start your day at Café La Rue and Phil's at 244 Rue de Castelnau A, Montreal. The city is waiting to welcome you with open arms, so start planning your escapade today and get ready to create unforgettable memories.